What's up, y'all? It's Christian Covington. What's good? Money, 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 money. Money. Let's talk money, y'all. Why are you so cheap? My response. Why aren't you cheap? Because I can be. Why are you worried about what I'm doing with my money? Uh, yeah, I am cheap. What? And? Why don't you just pay for that instead of that? Why don't you just... The word just throws me right off. Like, like they know what my bank account is looking like. Or like, they know what just is to me. My point is, I get a lot of questions about the way that I spend my money, how I use my money, and things like that. Yet, I'm not broke. So, I have five money tips that I'm going to go ahead and give. And if you have any money tips for me, go ahead and leave them um, in the comments or whatever. Like, I'm no... Whoa, whoa. Did y'all see that? I'm no perfect money person. You know what I mean? But, like, I'm alright. You know, like, a lot of my people ask me for advice on money. <sighs> That's actually why I'm doing this video right now. So, let me go ahead and give five tips. Number one is the root. Um, separating your needs from wants. This root connects back to every other point I'm about to say. So it sounds really simple, it's just not for some people. So some people will be like, I need to go to the Chris Brown concert. I need to get a new car right now. I need to get this flat screen TV. Those aren't actually needs. Like, those are probably wants. That sounds a lot different than I need to pay this bill or I need to go to the grocery store so that I can eat or I need to put gas in my car so that I can drive to work. Needs and wants are very different but oftentimes we name our wants as needs. And sometimes it's a joke. Like for instance, I always say I need Chipotle. I need to have Chipotle. And that's not something that I need. It's really not. I know that if I don't got the funds for it, I don't, I'm not getting it because that's not an actual need. Now, it's different if you have enough money to do those wants as well. So you need to do this. And also, this is something that you want to do and you have the funds for it. Go do it then. Tip number two, save. Saving matters so much. And especially if you start early, you have time to build up. So what I do is I have a certain amount of money transferred into my savings account every month. I'm pretty sure it is. And I don't touch it. I don't look at it. I couldn't even tell you how much is in my savings account. I know there's money in there. I don't know how much. I don't want to know how much. Because if I know how much, that might mean that I kind of want to touch it a little bit. Like, ooh, okay, so there's enough for me to grab a little bit out so I can do this. Um, I don't want to do that because something could come up later that you're not planning for. You don't plan for everything that happens in your life and you want to be ready when something comes up. It's like you got to trick yourself kind of like I have a savings account but I don't. Technically you do but you don't want to look at it so it's like you halfway have it. Number three, credit cards. Okay so I own a credit card, yes. And I don't get swipe happy. I know a lot of people that are so swipe happy with their credit cards. And I don't know, some people don't know this. I didn't know this for sure. I didn't know this for sure. Um, you don't have to use your credit. You don't have to use your credit card in order to build credit. So basically your credit card could just sit there and you're still building your credit. Or you could use it on really small things like when you get gas or like every so often when you go to the store or something like that and make sure you're paying it back like right away. I try so hard not to ever use my credit card. If I have the money, I'll use it. If I don't, I don't have it. Like that's it, period. Number four, um, you gotta be ready to miss out on some events. Like you might want to go to certain places because your friends are going because your family's going your boo might be going or whatever but like sometimes you have to miss out because you don't have the funds you just got to ask yourself like is it really worth it i'm gonna go on this trip with you to vegas knowing i have absolutely no money and then i come back from vegas and i'm broke 
Like that doesn't even make sense. And now you're asking other people for money so that you can pay your phone bill or so that you can pay your water bill or whatever it is when you just went on this trip and that's gonna make people less likely to even allow you to borrow money because they know you just blew all this money on something else that you should have been using to pay your bills or to do things that you actually need to do. You can't be afraid to say no. Like, no, I can't go here because I don't have enough money. And like, ugh, people talk about those friends so much like, oh, we don't want to ask her. She never has any money. Well, like, I would rather be known as that person than to be, you know, scrambling up my last bits of money to for pleasure. Some friends, they'll want you to go, or family or whoever, they want you to go so bad that they'll offer to pay for you. If they're saying, oh, I'll let you borrow this amount of money, and then you could give it back to me. It's different than being like, okay, I just got you. I got you this time, or whatever. And then you, you always have to clarify, what does this time mean? Does that mean next time you're expecting me to pay for you? Because no, like, I would rather just not go at that point because now you owe somebody something. Which brings me into number five, um, no IOUs. Borrowing money is not the way to go because then you owe people. I have never been the type to borrow money, like never ever. Um, because I feel like that's setting myself up for something that I'm not, I don't really want to be a part of. If I say, hey, or somebody says, hey, I'm going to pay you back on this day if you let me get this much money say you give it to them and then they never actually pay you back like ugh, that hurts that hurts me right here like dang I thought I was gonna get that money back and now you still don't have it and like it's awkward nobody's gonna want to give you money anymore so like if you do borrow money make sure you give it back on time but I just wouldn't even set myself up for that because uh, then people feel like I don't know, you owe them sometimes. And you do. You, like, actually do owe them. Maybe they feel like when they need money, they can come to you. And then what happens if you don't have money at that time? Then they're like, well, remember that time when I gave you that? Borrowing money or letting people borrow money, it just stresses me out. So it's just a no-go for me. What's up? Here, come in. Give a money tip real quick, real quick. <laughs> Give a money tip? Money tip. Peace, y'all. This is Healer I Set, Christian's big, 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 big cousin. I'm the first one. Um, a money tip. Probably understand the value of currency and that you are the value, not a piece of paper. Ooh. And that you bring the value to whatever your gifts and purposes are. So when you devalue yourself, you definitely devalue the dollar. So Ooh. make sure that you understand what currency in exchange really means because it's about your energy, not that piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> okay then, way to drop a money tip on y'all. <laughs> Peace, love you. Love you too, all right. All right, y'all, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it on that note. Um, I need to do some reevaluating on what she just said because I just brought in a whole new perspective. So yeah, if you have any money tips, drop them below. Uh, I'm gonna leave y'all with this. When you put that all together, separate your needs from wants and oh one more uh last thing don't ever let um someone else name your needs like how do you know what i need people tell me all the time christian you need a new car you need a new wallet like how are you gonna tell me what i need i don't need a new car it still gets me from place to place it may not look the best but i'm not out here worried about looks my wallet people tell me all the time you need a new wallet let me show y'all what it looks like this is my wallet. I use it. I mean, I've had it for a while, and to me, it still does what it's supposed to do. It does the job. I don't feel like I need a new wallet. And who are you to tell me what I need? So those are the money tips that I have for you. That's how I maneuver through this world. And like, it changes. I have to do this in this video. I forgot last time. But I want to give a special shout out to Christine. I don't know your last name, but yeah, shout out to you. Sorry about the fact that I forgot last time. All right, y'all. Peace up. A-Town down. Yiggity. Money, 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 money. Money.